Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 7. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 10 of Book 7. Now, like Proposition 9, this is dealing with fractions. However, part Proposition 9, we had B was one part of A, this proposition where B is parts of A. So if B is some fraction of A and D is the same fraction of C, then if B is some other fraction of D, A will also be the same fraction of C, or written this way. So to prove it, we're going to start off with AB, which is some parts of C, and DE, which is some parts of F. Now what we're going to do is since AB is some number of parts of C and DE is the same number of parts of F, we're going to divide AB and DE into that number of parts. Or you can look at it that we take whatever the parts are of C, AG is equal to GB is equal to some part of C, and DH and HE will be the same part of F, or the same fraction of F. So AG, GB is some fraction of C, DH and HE is the same fraction of F. Now whatever parts that AG is of DH, then C will be the same parts of F. And that's according to Proposition 9 of this book. So AG is equal to some fraction of DH, and C will be equal to the same fraction of F. Similarly, GB and HE will also be the same fractions. Sorry, GB will also be the same fractions of HE. Now AG is some fractions or parts of DH, and GB is the same fractions of HE. So according to Proposition 5 and 6 of this book, we can add them together. So AG plus GB will have the same fractions of DH plus HE. Now AG plus GB, AG plus GB is equal to AB, and DH plus HE is equal to DE. So we have AB is the same fractions of DE as AG is of DH and GB is of HE. So we have demonstrated that if AB is some fractions of C and DE is, some, is the same fractions of F, so this is our starting condition, now C will be some other fraction of F, and if that is so, then AB will also be the same other fractions of DE. And that is our proof.